Hi guys, so today we're checking out the Fishbone Off-Road Interior Storage Rack fitting all 2007 to 2018 four-door JK Wranglers. Now, if you are looking to maximize the cargo area space in your Wrangler, this is going to be a great choice to take a look into. Now, this will be great for the Jeep owner who is carrying a lot of cargo in the back of their Jeep and wants to stay a little bit more organized when they're taking their Jeep off-road, when you're taking your Jeep camping, or in just everyday life. Now, what this is going to do is mount on either side of your Jeep with an elevated rack in the middle, allowing you to mount up and separate your cargo up on top and allowing a ton of space on the bottom for larger cargo that you won't be able to fit up top. Um, now, this is strong, made of a steel material, and this will be able to hold up to 150 pounds. So this will be perfect if you're looking to carry any toolboxes or heavier items up top that you want separated from the rest of your cargo in the actual cargo space. Now, it's also going to have a nice texture black powder coat finish on top, giving a more off-road look and, of course, protecting that steel underneath. And I do like the fact that this has some high edges and it has multiple tie-down points and it's even got some cutouts on the bottom there for styling. Now, I would like to mention that this is going to work with a hard top as well as a soft top, but for the soft top owners out there, you will not be able to put the soft top all the way back when you have this installed. However, it is very easy to install and you can remove it if you are looking for that uh, top to go all the way back and that open air driving experience. But nonetheless, this is going to do a really good job at storing all of your cargo and keeping it organized in the back of your Jeep. Now, when it comes to price, this is gonna come in at roughly $300. And in my personal opinion, I think you're getting a very good product for that price point. Now, this is going to be incredibly strong and I do really like the construction of this where it's elevated in comparison to some other choices that are not gonna be as high as this and give you as much cargo space underneath. Now, some other choices on the page may be set up very similar to this in the way that they are mounted on either side and are elevated elevated in the middle. However, they may just be a little bit different as far as the styling is concerned or the actual finish is concerned. Uh, some may not have cutouts and some may have some different tie down points on the sides. Now, when we're taking a look at the category page and some other choices for rear uh, cargo storage and options that are pretty similar to this, um, a lot of other choices are usually an enclosed cargo deck. So you will be able to mount things up on top. However, they're not going to have uh, the ability to tie them down and so on. And then there are some other choices that are just gonna be for a basket and more of an organizational option in comparison to this, where it's gonna be able to hold uh, some pretty heavy weight in your cargo area. Now, overall, if you are looking for a quality product that's going to do a good job at separating your cargo, uh, keeping everything secure in the back of your Jeep, and of course, maximize that storage space, then this is gonna be it. Now, as far as install is concerned, like I said, this is going to be incredibly easy to install. We're gonna need a couple of basic hand tools to get the job done in maybe an hour. So I'm gonna give it a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. So speaking of that install, let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, a 17 millimeter wrench, a six millimeter Allen socket, and a five inch extension. Now to kick off this install, we're gonna be installing these side panels first. Now I did take our hard top off to give you a better look. However, you do not need to take the hard top off for this install. You just need to remove the two back T40 Torx bolts with a T40 Torx bit or Torx socket, um, and then we'll be able to mount up our side panels. Now these are gonna be side specific, so I would keep that in mind but you wanna make sure that that fish cutout is facing the inside of the cargo area. It is gonna be a little bit larger on the inside and smaller on the outside. We're gonna go ahead and line this up with the mounting location where those two bolts were. Then we can take our provided hardware and thread that into our factory mounting location. Now there is a little bit of movement for adjustability.
What we can do at this point is take our center rack or our center basket here and we can mount it up on either side with our provided hardware. Now I have something helping me prop up the rack. Um, it is pretty heavy. You could also uh, ask a friend to help you just line it up on either side, but if you can prop it up, that works too. So we can take our provided hardware and just put that through. And once we have both sides attached, we'll be able to get the other hardware on no problem. So then we can start to secure the other mounting locations down. So we're gonna have three on either side and then we'll be able to go back and tighten them up. Now once we have everything mounted up, what we can do is tighten everything down. I'm gonna use a 17 millimeter wrench for the nut side and a six millimeter Allen socket. So I'm using an extension here just to clear our roll bar. After everything is adjusted and tightened up, then you'll be all set to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos and products just like this. And always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.